In this video, we will see how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam having overhang of 2 meter on the right hand side. So BC is the overhang and carrying a uniformly distributed load of 1200 Newton per meter over the entire span length. Now let us apply the conditions of equilibrium to find out the reactions RA and RB. So applying the first condition of equilibrium that is summation of F y is equal to 0, upward forces positive and downward forces negative. RA, RB they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive. 1200 into 8 because 8 is the total entire length on which the UDL is acting. So 1200 into 8 and as it is acting in the downward direction it is negative. So RA plus RB minus 9600 is equal to 0 or you can say that RA plus RB transfer this negative term on the other side. So it will become positive. So 9600 Newton and call this as our equation 1. So RA plus RB is equal to 9600 Newton. Now summation of moment about A is equal to 0. Clockwise moment we are considering as positive and anti-clockwise moment we are consider them as negative. Now start with RB, RB will produce anti-clockwise moment. So this RB will produce anti-clockwise moment about A and distance between B and A is 6 meter. So minus RB into 6. Similarly, this uniformly distributed load. So 1200 Newton per meter. That is what for 1 meter the load that is acting is 1200 Newton. Then for 8 meter it will be 1200 into 8. So 1200 into 8 is the total UDL load that we have considered in our first term and it will be acting at the center of 8 meter length that is 4 meter. So it will be acting over here. So 4 meter is the distance between the point of application of UDL up to A and it will produce a clockwise moment. So it is positive. So again try to understand for 1 meter the load that is acting is 1200 Newton then for 8 meter because UDL is acting over the entire span length. So it is 1200 into 8. For 1 meter it is 1200 Newton. Then for 8 meter it will be 1200 into 8. And it will act at the center of 8 meter. That is center will be over here. That is 8. The center of 8 meter is 4 meter. So from this up to A the distance is 4 meter. And it is acting in the downward direction. So as it is acting into downward direction it will produce clockwise moment about A. So 1200 into 8 into 4. Transfer this minus RB into 6 term on the other side. So it will become positive. So RB will be equal to 1200 into 8 into 4 divided by 6. So value of RB comes out to be 6400 Newton. Now we have to substitute this value in equation 1. Now equation 1 is nothing but what? It is RA plus RB is equal to 9600. So we can say that RA will be equal to 9600 minus RB. So that will get the value of RA from this. Transfer this plus RB term on the other side, it will become minus. Value of RB just now we have calculated as 6400. So this value comes out to be 3200 Newton. So we have got the values of reactions RA and RB for this arrangement of the simply supported beam. Now using these values we have to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So let us start with the shear force diagram calculations. The conventions that we are using over here are upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So start with A. At point A upward force RA is there so it is positive. So and value of R is just now we have calculated as 3200 Newton. Now the important part. Now we have to calculate the shear force at left of the B. So just at the left of the B we have to take into consideration 1200 into 6 that is UDL. Because length between or distance between A and B is 6. So 1200 into 6 that is minus 4000 Newton exactly at B you have to add the upward acting reaction to this value. So it is minus 4000 plus RB. Now value of RB is 6400. So that value will get added. So this value will be equal to 2400 Newton. Now 
at point C, shear force at point C. To this value, we have to take into consideration the UDL acting over only 2 meter length, correct? So, minus 1200 into 2, because up to B already we have taken into consideration. This 6 meter already we have considered. So, between B and C, the length is 2 meter. So, therefore, we can say that it is 2400 minus 1200 into 2. That is nothing but 0. So, shear force at C is 0. Now, let us draw first the shear force diagram. So, you can see shear force at A, it is 3200. Just at the left of the B, it is minus 4000. Exactly at B, it is 2400 and will be 0 at point C. Now, this is the point of zero shear. Here, the bending moment diagram, sorry, here, the shear force diagram, here, the shear force diagram changes its sign from positive to negative. So, this is the point of zero shear. So, consider any section xx at a distance x from the left hand support. Now, we have to find out what will be the value of this distance x. So, we will find out the point of zero shear over here. So, we have considered the section xx at a distance x. So, now we will be finding out the point of zero shear and we have considered the forces on the left hand side of this section xx. So, on the left hand side, we are having Ra which is 3200 Newton, then 1200 Newton per meter UDL acting for x meter length. So, Ra is positive because it is acting in the upward direction, but 1200 into x that is the UDL load will be negative. So, shear force at xx will be Ra positive and 1200 into x that is negative. Ra it is acting in the upward direction, hence it is positive. 1200 into x acting in the downward direction, so it is negative. Now, shear force at section xx is 0. So, shear force at xx is 0, Ra is positive and 1200 into x that value is negative. So, Ra minus 1200 x. Transfer this minus 1200 x term on the other side, it will become positive. Then x will be equal to Ra divided by 1200. Transfer this 1200 which is in multiplication. Over here, it will be in the division. Value of Ra is 3200. So, x is equal to 2.67 meter from support A. Now, this is the point where there is a zero shear. So, it is a point of zero shear. Now, let us find out the bending moment also at the same point. So, again, we'll draw the separate diagram for this so that you can easily understand. So, consider any section xx at a distance x. This value will be x by 2. UDL is 1200 into x acting at the center of x that is x by 2. So, the moment about this particular section xx will be equal to. Now, this Ra will produce clockwise moment. So, Ra into perpendicular distance is x. This 1200x UDL which we have converted into point load will produce anti-clockwise moment. So, 1200 into x into x by 2. So, substitute the value of x over here. So, Ra is 3200, x is 2.67, minus 1200 divided by 2, that is 600, and x into x, that is x square, that is 2.67 square. So, that value comes out to be 4266.67 Newton meter. So, let us start with the bending moment diagram calculation. Bending moment at the support is always 0. So, bending moment at A is equal to 0. End point of the simply supported beam will always have 0 bending moment. Now, we have to find out what will be the bending moment at point B. So, consider all the forces on the left hand side of B. Bending moment at Xx which is lying between this A and B that also we have to write down first. So, this we have already calculated. So, this value already we have calculated and then we will go for bending moment at point B. So, this is the value which we have written over here. Now, bending moment at point B, consider all the forces on the left hand side of B. So, on the left hand side of B, there are two forces. One is Ra and another one is the UDL 1200 into 6. So, this Ra will produce clockwise moment. So, it will produce clockwise moment about point B. So, it is Ra into 6. 
and UDL 1200 into 6 and it is acting in the downward direction and it will act at the center of this. So from this point up to this the perpendicular distance is 3. So it will produce anti-clockwise moment. So 1200 into 6 into half of the 6 that is 3 meter. So that is the bending moment about point B. Substitute the value of RA and you will get the value of bending moment about point B as 2400 Newton meter and bending moment at end point is always zero. Now let us draw the bending moment diagram. Bending moment at section x x x 4266.67 and bending moment at point B it is 2400. At end points bending moment is always zero in case of simply supported beam. Now here the bending moment diagram it changes the sign from positive to negative. So there is a point of contra flexure. So we have to find out this point of contra flexure. Now we have to find out the point of contra flexure. So consider all the forces on the left hand side of section yy which is at a distance y. So RA is reaction acting in the upward direction. 1200 into y is the UDL which will be acting at the center of distance y. So these are the various forces and we have to find out what will be the point of contra flexure. So bending moment at section yy. So as you can see this RA will produce clockwise moment. So RA into y it is clockwise and this will produce anti-clockwise moment that is 1200 into y will produce anti-clockwise moment and perpendicular distance is y by 2. But bending moment as we know that it is 0. So RA into y minus 600, 1200 divided by 2 that is 600 y square. Transfer this minus term on the other side. So 600 y square is equal to RA into y. Now cancel out one of the y term from both this y square and y. So we can say that y square upon you can transfer this y on this side will be equal to ra divided by 600. So y will be equal to y square and y one y will remain in the numerator. The value of ra we already know that. Substitute that value of ra and so that we will get the value of y that is nothing but our point of contra flexure. So ra is 3200 divided by 600. So value of y comes out to be If you make the calculation for this, then it is 5 point. So value of y comes out to be 5.33 meter from support A.